Morning all, so I've really enjoyed it here. Uh, it's been a really good um, trip, but now it's time to move beach. So I'm gonna go to Long Beach next. And uh, I've been told a lot about it, so it's very quiet there and very chill. Um, so I'm gonna go and enjoy it there. I'm gonna show you guys Long Beach. I thought it's a very beautiful beach. There's a lot of colors lost within a haze. Don't rely on others to get you through the maze. The dreams are not the same for me. Standing by the shore, why you're on the open sea, cannot take the So we made it, Long Beach Resort. What a hell of a hill though. Betty Blue is, she's doing a great job. But like every time she goes over one of these big hills, I pat her like this, I say, good girl. Uh, she's seen me through this old car. She's still strong, she's still a tough old girl. Dreams are not the same for me. Standing by the shore. Well, these beachfront bungalows definitely have their own little character. Only problem is they've got no beds or mosquito nets in them. So I'm not fully understanding uh, where I might stay tonight. <laughs> Unless I plug it in the car again. Um, I mean, I live in a bamboo hut, but it's not quite this basic. All right, so number four over here, yeah? One, two, three, four, a big counter. Okay, perfect. Two or three days, nearly finished, yeah? Still work in progress. Five o'clock, I had to plug out. Five o'clock, no power? No, no power, due from battery. From battery, yeah? Yeah. In the day, you use in the sun. Uh-huh. charge from the morning. All right, perfect. But the, the bungalows here have no power. So it's very, very simple. Mosquito net, bed. But now he's not got many tourists because closed for two years. So long, long time. No in the business. bungalow, I can give you the solar energy. Oh, really? Yeah, we have. Okay, perfect. Yeah. It's uh, even more basic than where I'm in, the bamboo hut. If you've got a thing for huts, then you've come to the right channel. Thanks for subscribing. Not only do I live in the bamboo hut, but you're going to enjoy lots of huts in this vlog uh, of all different shapes and sizes. Um, I'll leave it to you in the comments to let me know if you like any of them. All right guys, so I'm cut off. There is no internet here. So I'm filming this, but there is no internet and that's a good thing. Um, it's good to be cut off. Sometimes, you know, you can check your phone a little bit too much on social media and it's kind of what I came here for. At the beginning, I was planning not to even vlog this trip, but you know, you see things and you want to kind of report back. So you end up vlogging it. Uh, but now while I'm here, I'll get this vlog of Long Beach, but then I think I'm just going to go into myself a little bit and just just go very, very simple. With no internet, there's no temptation to use the internet. So I think it's perfect, really. So Mr. Joe and his wife here, very, very hospitable, very friendly. Um, they've just been navigating for us, for me, the situation of charging stuff. So he has solar on here in the day and a generator, and he's just set up a little solar light in the bungalow which is i got a little remote for here i suspect it's going to be a bit of a hot night and a rough night with no fan but i did it in the car for the first couple of days so uh, this is a holiday of rough sleeping 
so all good. So as you can see, it's pretty basic. Just a little lock here. Break it to your old door. And there you go. Well, every time I see the sun, the rooster crows for day. And every time I see that gal, she always looks away. Hell, she always looks away. Hold on. Baby, just hold on. Cause I'll be coming home. Back where I belong. Hold on, baby. Baby, just hold on. Actually, it suits me pretty fine. Um, I'm just hoping it's not going to be too hot in the night, but there's a lot of breeze coming through here, so, so far, so good. Um, it's a beautiful place to stay, peaceful, quiet, and uh, she does great food too. Uh, his wife cooks in the kitchen, fantastic food. Morning, meeting time, I hear them church bells ring. Y'all seen them late last night, go out and shake that thing. And as is the case with most places I stay, there's monkeys. So you gotta be careful what you leave out and about because they're cheeky buggers and they'll just steal anything they get their hands on. I'll be coming home Back where I belong Yeah, baby Hold on, baby Baby, just hold Drink cafe, be class, you know. Red Bull, you know, Red Bull. Red Bull, Cafe, Dang, Chai. I'm going to eat Thai, do I? Chai. 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 So, in the like this, yeah? yeah, with the metal, yeah, good strong roof, yeah, yeah. This is Mr. Joe. Many people will know Mr. Joe, he's very famous from Long Beach. Many people know him. And this just telling me about the roof is now metal before it was leaf. And the storm, storm take it, Mr. Joe, mm. yeah, and the water come in, yeah. leaking <laughs> a lot, leaking, yeah, a lot of work. Many work. Too much work, yeah? Too much work. <laughs> So I guess to describe it for you, because my camera doesn't do very well at night, I guess it's a little bit like staying in a, an old shed next to the sea with no power, right? Just been informed that my brakes are gone. There's a sound of iron hitting iron on the car. So it's time to go and get those changed on my way through Trat. And um, I really enjoyed my time here. It's been a really nice stay. Not being connected to the internet's a little bit difficult because I can't contact Otis. So I've worried about him a little bit. You know, we, we usually have two calls a day. Uh, starting to miss those two now. We've been, I've been gone for nine days, um, long time. So it's time to get back and get the brakes done along the way. I've got some wet roads to, it's been raining last night. So I've got to navigate some wet roads 
which is a little bit uh, worrisome because my tyres also need replacing. Um, but I think we'll take it slow and if it comes to a point where I can't take the hills, I'm just going to have to stop and let the sun dry out the road. Um, but what a beautiful place here, a beautiful place. Okay, Jürgen, the cap. จะจะกับบ้านกับบ้านเหรออ๋อไปดูดิดําอ่ะพอต้องส่งมั้ยอะไรนะมันมันคืออะไรครับอร่อยนะใช่โอ้ขนมเหรออาจจะกินให้เอ
expats wouldn't do that. More long timers are more kind of uh, budgeting, trying to keep to a, a monthly budget, trying to lower the monthly costs because they know they're staying here, you know, uh, permanently. So backpackers actually do pump a lot of money into the Thailand economy and they shouldn't be overlooked. Oh. But I think that some people, I, I see this on YouTube as well, some people look through everything through the lens of money. So how much does it cost? How much does that cost? How much is this? How much are you bringing in? How much are you spending? Um, it's all, everything is for a lens of money and they compare themselves egoically. Well, I probably got more money than that person, so therefore I'm better. What they miss or what they don't understand is that life isn't about money, it's about experience. And so sometimes it's not that you're hitchhiking just because you've got no money or you're backpacking because you've got no money. It's um, you want that experience. And somebody that only looks through everything through the lens of money will never have that experience because they think you spend more money the more you spend, the better it is. And it's just not the case. Uh, and you often find, they'll find themselves like sitting in pool villas, absolutely bored and thinking, well, why, why have I spent all this money and I'm still a miserable um, so-and-so. So, um, and this is the illusion of money. Money, is in, money only exists as a collective agreement between me and you. It's only £20 because you say it's £20 and I agree that it's £20, vice versa. We all agree that it's £20. It's got some value to it. Uh, without that collective agreement, that psychological agreement, the £20 doesn't exist. For example, if I take the £20 to a tribe in Africa and try to buy a pig, and they, they're going to laugh at me and say, well, what the hell is this? Because that collective agreement to what that £20 is doesn't exist in Africa or in certain tribes in Africa. They'd be like, well, what the hell is it? Um, we don't know what it is because money is more like an energy it's uh, you need it and it's not about living with no money at all you need it to, you need to have a good flow to be able to do what you're going to do and uh, you need to work and earn money but you don't need to am amass like a, a huge amount and be checking it all the time checking on your shares checking on your crypto checking on your bank balance every day you know like dragon they call it dragon syndrome right dragon's gold syndrome the colors i don't know where to go See a lot of colors, only feeling blue. There's a lot of colors, lost within a haze. Don't rely on others to get you through the maze. The dreams are not the same for me. Drowning in the sea There's too many voices Talking back at me There are a lot of choices Waiting to be 